In our previous video, we have discussed the strategy when it comes to choosing secondary school for students getting AL4 to AL7. For this video today, I'd like to go into more details for AL8 and AL10. Let us come back to this PSLE cutoff table. And now since we are focusing on AL8 to AL10, let us focus on this part. So ranging from PSLE cutoff 0.7 to 10. Now you can see that over here, there will be some IP programs highlighted once, and there will be some non-IP programs. So our first question is, should you choose an IP program? And the short answer is yes, absolutely. And here are a few reasons. First, by doing an IP program, you can skip your O level, allowing for a more streamlined and focused educational experience. And on top of that, because you don't have to go through the O level preparation, you can reduce the stress and save time. And those extra time allows you to delve deeper into those chosen subjects for your A level. And finally, from the previous statistics in recent year, we see that entering junior college with all level can be quite challenging because only 50% to 20% of the students enter junior college via the all level results. So because of these few reasons, we would like to encourage you that if you do have the chance to apply for IP program, you should do so. So there will be 13 IP schools but are there any differences in between them? And the answer is yes. The major difference would be two of them are doing IB diploma and 11 of them are doing A-level. And we have covered the differences between IB diploma and A-level in our previous video. So make sure you check it out. So if you, are, if you are after the IB diploma, then here are the available options. They are ACS and they are St. Joseph Institution. And they have the cutoff point from 4 to 7 and 4 to 8. Both can be applied by those students getting AL8 and AL9. However, if you're after the A-level exam, then here are the available options. River Valley High School and Domestic Junior College. And these two IP programs for AL8, there is a high chance. For AL9, there is a decent chance. And these five schools over here will be recommended for AL8. And you have a decent chance of getting into them. And finally, if you have AL8, we, we would also encourage you to try to apply these four schools over here because you can see that their cutoff point is from 4 to 7. And because there will be fluctuation in the PSLE cutoff point every year, there is still a chance where you can enter them. What about AL10? How would you choose the non-IP program? Because we have looked at the table, those IP programs would need to have at least AL8. So let's say if you get AL10, then what should, what should be some O-level program that I should choose for? Here are our recommendations. Over here, I have listed out a few schools with PSLE cutoff point from, from 8 to 10. And these are all the, 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 the schools that you can choose. And however, however, in between them, there are some that we will encourage you to choose, which is the highlighted ones, because they have IP programs. So these schools, they provide both IP program and O-level program. So overall, they will have a better learning environment and just more resourceful for your study. And if you'd like to learn more about the PSLE and choosing secondary schools in general, make sure you scan this QR code to join our study group. That's it for today. I'm Teacher Cedric and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.